Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. You guys, I got my nails done finally. I gave my nails a one month break. Honestly, it felt like so much longer, but my nails were so brittle. So now we back. So I got pink with chrome. So the base is pink and then the chrome powder on top. Okay, you guys, half of my face is done because did you know Laura Mercier has a new setting powder, but in a pink peach tone. I didn't know that. It's funny. I saw it maybe like two months ago. I was like, oh, this is cool, but it's been sold out. I'm like, why is it sold out? And I happened to look on Sephora's website again, and I saw that it was available. This is how it looks. Packaging is different from her usual stuff. How do we open this box though, or get to the product? Oh, this is the box. Oh, it just comes into this. Okay. Ah, oh, look at the cap. It's pinky. So you won't forget it. Look, the shade here is rose. Okay. Okay. Ah, let's look. It's like a light peach or pink. My favorite part. My favorite part. Eee. <laughs> Before we get even started with this powder, let me show you what I have on my face so we can continue. All the products I use today, I love, I know works. If something goes wrong, it's gonna be the powder, you know? So I started off with priming my skin. I primed with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Really worked that into the skin. Waited about two minutes so it can get tacky, get sticky. Then I went in with a pore filling primer, the Rare Beauty one, because you guys know I got big pores. After that, I waited that to settle in. Then I went in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I am in the shade Valencia M5. Added that all over the skin with my hands. And then you guys see with a brush, really working it in, making sure it's gonna last all day. Then I used the Tarte Contour Wand in the shade bron Cool Bronze. Added that all over the face just to give us a little bit of color. Then I used the Liquid Blush from Rare Beauty in the shade Encourage. Added that all over the skin. After that, to settle everything down, I used my color corrector from LA Girl in the shade Yellow. Then I went in with the Dior Forever Reformulated Concealer to conceal the under eye areas. I am in the shade 2W. Again, I let that kind of sit and then I blended it out with a brush. Here we are. This is how the skin looks. I put a bunch of cream products on because with powders, we want to really make sure how it works. And actually, let me give you some info about the powder. The new Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, the pink tone up for brightening, retails for $43. This is a cult favorite loose setting powder in a soft peachy pink shade to brighten and aliven your complexion and set your makeup for up to 16 hours. The highlighted ingredient is peachy pink pigment for complexion, vitamin C and E powders to visibly even skin tone over time, skin conditioning powders that melts into skin for a undetectable finish. Okay, so now that we have all the info, let's see, let's see. I'm really loving this cap. Oh, okay, it's a light pink. Hold on, you know, let me get my phone. This is how the powder looks. It's a very light peachy tone. And look, let's see. Oh yeah, it's very, very finely milled. And I can tell because it kind of sticks down to my finger. You know, so we saw the color. It's a nice light peach pink. It's not too dark and it's not too light. When it comes to setting powders, I say it time and time again, setting powders will make and or break your makeup. If you have like cream products, they're not looking good. I feel like this is looking kind of harsh. It's okay. Setting powder can fix a lot of makeup things that just don't look as smooth and as blurred, which is why a lot of times setting powders are blurring powders, are mattifying, are satiny. It really depends on your preference. Oh my God, I it. This is a traditional Laura Mercier powder. It's a little bit on the matte side. Another reason why a powder can make or break the makeup because a setting powder should work in three areas the lids the under eyes and the skin i've seen a lot of setting powders that work beautifully on the skin and then your eye area is looking crepey scrapey and scary so no we're not doing that especially when we're spending a high end dollar dollar bill you know i'm gonna get my powder puff i like to set with these elf powder puffs they're four dollars they're freaking amazing i literally bought 
oh, way too many, but they all come in clutch. Okay, so I'm gonna get my powder like that, right? You wanna press your powder in, so when you place it on your face, it doesn't like explode, right? What I wanna do is get rid of any creases in my under eye area because I do have creasy under eyes and they're kind of dry. I wanna make sure we're all good. You wanna make sure your entire face is ready to go. Like if you were to walk out the door, this is how it would look. So I'm gonna look up. I always start with my eyes just for, I don't know, pers not personal reasons, that's just how I do my makeup. Then I'm gonna work, bring it down, go around that cream contour, come back up, go to my forehead. All the while, I'm pressing the powder in. You see that? Pressing, pressing, pressing. You're not moving, you're not, you're always gonna press. If you use a sponge, you're pressing. If you use a, like a, maybe a brush like this, you're gonna press that powder in because when you press, you're setting at the same time and setting means it's not gonna move. With the remaining, I'm gonna start tapping that contour and blush. I'm gonna blend that out and grab my lid. I'm gonna grab a little more and kind of bake also. I do this a little bit after, after I set the entire face. Ooh, this looks good. Damn, okay. Let me turn off the light so you can see the before and after. You see this mattifying look immediately? You see how it, the powder kind of cleaned up that bronzer and blush? It's not looking as harsh. And then look at this side. It's glowy, it's creamy, obviously. Ooh, let me look up. Under eyes look good. I like this tone, but I don't know if we're gonna have flashbacks. So we're definitely gonna do a flashback test. Do the other side with the sponge. It's not my preferred method, but it's a method I, I've used before. It's cool, it's I. Right. I prefer it better than the brush. Along with my sponge, I'm gonna get powder. I'm gonna look up and then look straight ahead because that's how your eyes naturally rest. And I'm kind of pinching the sponge because I'm using just that tip, pressing this powder in, making sure our makeup is set, especially because I do have oily skin and you know we wear our makeup here 12 plus hours. And then I'm gonna go with the remaining. I typically use the remaining for any sort of bronzer product so it doesn't completely sheer it out or lighten it up. This powder will always light in your makeup up as you can tell the sponge because it is damp it will really melt the products in as opposed to a powder puff it looks like it's sitting on top which it kind of is but because we worked it in our makeup is nice and set so I can always get my sponge and press any powder that's sitting in and you see how just seamless everything looks and I'm gonna get my lids now we're gonna check out all three areas. Wait, what side did I use the setting powder? Oh no, this one, the puff. So what we're looking for is that the powder doesn't create more texture on the lids, which it didn't. You wanna see that it doesn't dry out your under eyes, doesn't create texture, doesn't make the under eyes look rough. It could happen. And with the skin, you want it to look nice and smooth. And it does, it really does. So let me give you the time. It is currently 10. 56, we're gonna do, it's gonna be late. 12 hours from now is 11 p.m. Oh, maybe. It'll be like a 10, 11 hour wear test. You guys know I got you because we have oily skin and we we'll need to see how this works. I'm gonna finish up my makeup, speed it up a little bit, and then I'll come back. Guys, no lie, today started off kind of rough. I feel like I just woke up late and anytime I wake up late, I feel just behind the entire day. I'm still behind, but it's okay. Or feel it, you know? Skin looks so freaking nice. Oh, it looks so smooth. You guys saw how I started off. It didn't look as smooth because I have oily skin and I have big pores. Powder is always just gonna refine that. Good makeup day, okay. Look at that. Mm. Mm, so nice. Where are my pores? 
Look at my lids. We're gonna disregard some of that mascara that's there. And then let's look up. Let's make sure our under eyes are not looking crepey scrapey. Nope, looks good. Another thing you wanna notice with setting powders is to see if it pulls product off and it didn't. Under eyes still look good. This one looks like it has better coverage than this one. Was this the sponge? I always start with my left because I'm left handed. So this was the, yeah, this was the sponge. So you see that darkness peeking through? That happens depending how you set your skin. I usually see it happen with a brush the sponge shouldn't be this dark but you see how it's smoother here that's why this is the goat let's do a flash test if you don't know what that means a lot of times setting powders can create this like film on your skin you may not be able to see it but you can see it with a flash photograph you guys i changed my whole setup so you the background may be a little bit different let's see another one for good luck oh no look i took two yeah okay okay no flashback at all yes yes that's always a good thing i may leave the house probably like the next hour i haven't had my coffee and i have to transfer my files for today so after i do that i will probably meet you in the car because i really want you to see in sunlight how things look this combo right here has me stuck in a chokehold i'll link it down below but it's morphe's other half it's like this brick brown a little more red and then honesty from rare beauty mm -mm -mm. okay peace out fam i have no hold on let's roll the window is it better okay i don't have much sun but this is how the skin looks i just threw my jacket there doesn't it look really good and mind you it's been two hours this is the side with the powder puff right the side with no piercings and then this is the sponge side skin looks good i'm really mad like it feels very dry i do want to show you a quick comparison on both powders that i have the new talc free and the pink one so you can just see the shades they are different one leans more to like a warmer translucent tone and this one is more of a pink pink just wanted to show you the comparison because i was thinking about that and i'm like oh yeah i need to show you okay bye Bam, i'm back oh it is almost 10 o'clock i tried doing a 12 hour wear test but i literally have to be up by 5 30 tomorrow so your girl needs her z's but you know i got some footage for you at around five o'clock to show you how the skin was looking and at this point oils were slowly creeping in they weren't anything too bad i really feel like the skin just looked really nice very blended very much melted in everything looked pretty well put together bronzer blush here we are now about i think it's 11 hours later look oily <laughs> I am so oily. Although I do want to always mention that I forget. I drink water. I drink a lot of water. Water creates moisture in the skin. It creates a lot more glow in the skin as well. So keep that in mind. And I have oily skin. So your girl's going to always be essentially glowy. But not bad considering I'm like super oily here. The skin looks pretty good. You don't see any separation anywhere. I did a lip swatch today. Even my mouth is not like gone. Damn, look at these under eyes. They look so smooth. Mind you, I have not touched them. The lids look beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm oily, yeah. Do I look gastada? No, because my hair is combed. But if my hair wasn't combed, probably. But let's tap the skin and see. This powder really just melted into the skin so well. This color just does, does it for me. You guys saw, like I showed you guys earlier today, the Light, different tints of the powder the tints of powder really matter especially if you're a person of color you don't want to get that white cast or like that white powder look Laura Mercier does make great powders and come with different tones and look everything looks pretty well put together definitely gastada not here Mm -mm. But of course, I feel like Laura Mercier is just synonymous to great powder. If you're going to get something from Laura Mercier, it's going to be powder because it's just beautiful. This rose, I think it might be my favorite one. So this is definitely a yes to me. Let me know. Have you tried this? Have you seen it on Sephora's website? Have you purchased it? I will link it down below if you want to check it out. Oh my God, look. <laughs> and this is it, fam. I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.